Hello world, this is Dennis, and I have a new Godzilla video for you today. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, uh, things have been kind of slow, but with the new movie coming out next year, things will start uh, picking up. So, for today's video, I want to show you what came in the mail. I got uh, two boxes. Uh, I've had a very good streak on eBay. Well, actually, these two boxes, this is all from the same eBay seller. Okay, so let's uh, open these up and I'll show you what's on the inside. This is the first box, the smaller one. Let's see here. And uh, do forgive me if there's any uh, background noise. They're uh, ripping up the streets out front right now, so <laughs> that's going to be interesting for a while. Okay, let's see here. Oh, excellent. Okay, this is all all the... What the heck? Ah, stupid desktop notifications. Ugh. I gotta figure out how to turn that off. Anyhow, um, the first box here is a whole bunch of uh, soundtracks. Um, all, if not most of these, should be um, uh, Godzilla-related. We got the... Well... Destroy All Monsters soundtrack. Still haven't quite figured out a way to do this without getting the uh, glare on the screen. Um, ooh. God's Godzilla vs. Biollante. Uh, this one I have already. Maybe I'll sell it or something. Or, no, maybe I'll just hold on to it for a backup copy. Uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Wait, it says this is a DVD video. I thought this was a soundtrack, but it says DVD video. I'm going to have to look into this. Is this the movie? Um, well, over here in the U.S. is just known as Godzilla Tokyo SLS, but the full title is Godzilla Mothra Mecha Godzilla Tokyo SLS. be pretty cool if this is the, the movie itself. And don't worry... I uh, now have a whoa, region free Blu ray player so I can watch movies from all over the world. Yes, I used to have a DVD player, but I upgraded to Blu ray because one, I got rid of my uh, Xbox One, so I needed something that could play Blu rays. Let's see here. Next, we got The History of Godzilla Volume 1 and Volume 2. I'm assuming this is pretty much just like, you know, the best of Godzilla kind of kind of thing. Oh, this one I'm really excited about. The Mothra vs. Godzilla soundtrack. I was listening to um, a Best of Godzilla CD compilation the other day. Um, it was one that was released in Great Britain. And it's got um, a couple tracks from um, Mothra vs. Godzilla. And I was thinking, oh, that would be so awesome if I could find the soundtrack. And now I have it. Let's see here. At first, I thought this was also a Destroy All Monsters soundtrack, but if you notice here on the back, it's um, from Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. And the only English on there is this um, Austin Otto. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Kind of curious as to what this is. It must be another, another compilation or maybe... Um, a live concert or something because in here you got a picture from uh, Frankenstein Conquers the World so that's going to be interesting to listen to and then we got the original soundtrack for um, Godzilla vs. Mothra the 1992 version that's pretty cool the only thing that kind of sucks is it doesn't you know have the information on the back oh well I have the English version of this, now I got the Japanese version of the Godzilla 2000 soundtrack. That re looks really cool. This... Oh, okay. Um, on the back here, somebody... I don't know if that... No, that's probably not how the CD is. Boy, I hope this isn't like a bootleg. No, this is legitimate. Okay, it says Toho Monster March 2. Interesting. 
So it's probably, it's, uh, wow, that sucks. Well, you get the idea. Basically, it sounds like to me it's like um, the best of, you know, the Toho monster movies. Now this, this is another cool one to have in my collection. It's the uh, Terror of Mechagodzilla soundtrack. That's, uh, that's another soundtrack that I really wanted. Um, don't ask me how much I spent for all of this, because I can't quite remember exactly. Or just for these, like I said, this was all together, but just for these alone, I can't remember, because I got into a little bit of a bidding war. Uh, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, yeah, again, I have this soundtrack already, but I'll hold on to it, you know, for a backup copy. Now, for this one, I have the American release, but uh, now I have the Japanese release of the soundtrack for the first Godzilla movie. Now, that's awesome. Now this, this is really cool. This is the uh, the soundtrack for the Mysterians. I've listened to this on um, on Spotify because you can um, they have a couple of uh, Akira Ifakobi's um, soundtracks. So I've listened to it on Spotify before, but it's nice to actually have the actual soundtrack. Then finally, I got some little stuff. Um, we got the soundtrack for the Return of Godzilla. Um, or also known here in the U.S. as Godzilla 1985. So this is another cool addition to my collection. Okay. That was the first part, or the first box. On to the second box, which is uh, bigger. And the reason for that is because there's, um, there's DVDs in here. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, these are so much fun. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, this was packed really good. Oh, there is two more CDs. Um, you got the... Uh, I guess it's like the concert for the soundtrack of um, Ultraman Great. Oh, it's actually in English in the back. Okay. I think I might have only seen like one or two episodes of this. Basically, this is the, um, um, I think this is, yeah, the Australian Ultraman series. For some reason, years ago, um, ALL had it up on their website, and I think I watched the first two episodes. Can't remember much about it. Uh, looked interesting, though. And judging by the number 30 on here, this must be like 30th uh, anniversary kind of like Ultraman soundtrack set. Or it's actually just one disc, but it's probably a, um, the various themes. I have something like this already. Um, it's a three CD set, but I got this one, you know, just for a heck of it, because, you know, why not another Ultraman CD for my collection? Now this, this is, get out of here, this is really cool. This is a DVD set um, from uh, Toho. You've got Rodan. Frankenstein Conquers the World and War of the Gargantuas. The um, obviously the the uh, Japanese versions. Although there's one disc here. Yeah, it says American version for Frankenstein Conquers the World and War of the Gargantuas. Oh, holy cow! This looks. This looks legitimate. It doesn't look like your standard, like, video daikaiju, you know, bootleg. This looks like it's the, uh, the real deal. I'm, well, I'm supposing, I'm supposing the reason why they would have this, you know, for Japan is, you know, because, you know, they would like to see the Americanized version of Frankenstein Con Conquest the World and War of the Gargantulas. So, that, so that's really cool in and of itself, but... Also got, you know, the Japanese version of Rodan. Um, this is obviously, you know, Japanese language, no English subtitles, which is all right. And then also got Frankenstein Conquers the World and War of the Gargantulas. Like I said, this is actual, you know, region, region two, if I remember correctly, Japanese DVDs, which I can watch on my... Um, region-free uh, Blu-ray player. And now, uh, the best for last. Gotta get out of the box here. Oh. 
Oh, this one I'm really excited to have. The Godzilla Final Box. Now, if you remember correctly, back in 2004 when Godzilla Final Wars came out um, for the 50th anniversary, they released all the Toho Godzilla movies in one box set in Japan. Um, I believe it came with like some artwork and a bust of... Um, the 1954 Godzilla, well, obviously none of that came with it, it's just the movie it's, itself, which, you know, that's all right with me, because I have already have a, you know, a bust of the 1954 Godzilla, it's right up here on my radio, so I won't uh, pull it off, but um, this is what the DVD set looks like. I think this, this one right here is... I know one of these is... Um, okay, yeah, it's... Uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Wow, I don't know what he, these extra discs are. Probably like special features and stuff. Which is really cool. So this is the only thing I could, you know, watch and understand without the aid of subtitles. Everything else is, you know, is the movie itself, you know, no English subtitles. So we got Godzilla Final Wars here. And, you know, this is what it looks like on the inside. Let's, uh, let's see here. This should be okay. Yep, yeah. this is GMK. So I now officially own the first um, 28 Godzilla movies. Like I said, there's no English subtitles with this, but you know that's all right. Watch them from time to time just for the heck of it, for something different. And if I do want to watch it like dub or English subtitles, I have you know the American versions. So, these have been the latest additions to my collection as of today. There are a couple other items, but um, I, I'm going to do a separate video for those. So, let me know down in the comments what you think of uh, this unboxing and all the cool stuff I got. And as always, peace and all that good stuff.